Hello dudes, welcome to my 100% playthrough of Sunder on Ultra Violence. My name is Hammer and I play Doom like the good boomer that I am. I really love this game. And Doom needs no further instructions and possibly Sunder doesn't either. Sunder is uh, uh, out for quite some time now. It's uh, uh, a megawatt still under construction. Original 14 maps have been released like 10 years ago. Uh, a short time back, more maps have been added to it. So I thought I'm gonna give this another spin. <clears throat> Sunder is quite infamous for being uh, super hard. It's a slaughter style map design. And uh, it's quite difficult, but because it's quite old as well, a lot of people have found strategies and say, well, Sunder isn't that bad, I know how to beat it. But for me po uh, personally, Sunder that I have played before is not just one of my most difficult Doom experience, but one of my most difficult gaming experience as a whole. Another reason why I chose to uh, revisit Sunder is uh, a bit of a redemption. There has been one map, it has been called The Cage, it's map 9 or 10, uh, where I had to cheat in order to win. I uh, uh, couldn't finish the last fight without giving myself an additional 30 seconds of invulnerability. And uh, that always kind of gnawed on me, like yeah I beat Sunder, but I didn't fully beat it because I had to cheat one time so i want to see if my doom skills have been significantly increasing in order for me to beat it so without further ado i give you python the first map and it's uh, one of the easier ones mostly because it's mercifully short there's only 119 enemies but don't be surprised if that number doubles at the end of it because there's quite a few arch vials in there uh, that if you give them the chance start running amok and resurrect everything so i'm gonna take all the stuff here and open this door and already we are greeted with an arch vial, two revenants and there's also a bunch of hell knights. Well, I'm not a doom god. I consider myself a decent at the game but not uh, really good. Shout out to my boy Decino who is uh, blind running all the difficult maps without saving. I'm gonna save because otherwise we'll be here tomorrow particular this beginning it's quite rough we have to defeat this arch vial basically with nothing but this shotgun the regular shotgun so I'm just gonna run around these pillars hopefully that I don't catch fire the other enemies are busy in fighting. The archfile joins in. And we're just gonna snipe him whenever we get the chance. Oh, see, I got hit there. Don't like getting hit too often. There is some health lying around but still uh, you shouldn't squander it so I'm just gonna use these pillars for safety kinda need to find a good time to save the game here Got hit by a rocket. Not the worst thing. Ah, and he just redirected his fire at me at the very last time. Uh, last moment. Yes, we got him. Okay. So, uh, what we're gonna do next? We go up here. We grab some 
ammo. Push the switch, then chain gunners appear over there. Also a lot of imps. And we're just gonna lure out the imps. These hell knights will come knocking. Kind of give myself an opening here. See, there's quite a few imps. We get trapped. That happens. Kind of need to stick to this side of the wall so the hell knights don't go up the stairs. Make sure some infighting happens that we fin out the imp herd a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna see oh, where this will take us. See, there are more imps ready to fight us right there. And what shall we do? Get caught again. Um, yeah. Just gonna move past these things right here and there. Too many to make it to safety. So uh, we need to lure them out slightly more. Get out of here! Don't know if this is the way to do it though. No, it most certainly is not. It is not. Ow. That was, uh, that was not my intention to get hit there. Fire, Hell Knights! Yes. We need to kill as many of these imps here as humanly possible. See, and that's the really annoying part. There's a large group of imps that just keeps standing there. Oh, we came close. Still no cigar. Infight for me, will ya? Yes, we made it, because now we can grab the super shoddy. And we can kill most of the imps from here. Switch back to regular shoddy for some ammo conservation. Save the game. Grab the chain gun. Some more imps will make it through here. That's okay. Let 
also some Hell Knights. They can do that. Then uh, we're gonna grab this switch and that'll teleport chain gunners back to the tower. It also brings in uh, Mancubi and Kekos. Tomatoes Ahoy. And that was really dumb. Okay. Try that again. See that chain gunner, he's, um, he's being a little bitch boy. No, oh, I didn't push the switch. That's dumb. It's dumb as fuck. It's a float of floating caco corpse. Okay, pillar for safety. Then we're going over here. There's another. There's more cacos. And in the meantime, we get hit by everything. So we're gonna have to lure these cacos out. Or just finish them really quickly. Grab the armor. And then another arch vial shows up. Also, Mr. Sipes. Sometimes you get lucky and the arch vial is uh, the first one to leave the premise. He isn't today. So we're just gonna grab some health. See the arch vial starts resurrecting stuff. But hopefully, Mr. Sipes over there can get rid of him for us. So let's just see what the situation is. He is uh, very much still kicking around. Sipes to uh, shoot this fucker. <clears throat> so, uh, Mr. Sipes, what are uh, what is your plan? 
gonna kill this guy or not? Oh, and then the fat boy is gonna stand in front of here again. Is the art file dead? He, uh... Well, I don't see him around no more, so he's probably dead. Okay. Okay, that gives me a moment of uh, respite. So then we can push this switch. And what's gonna happen now? Is not all that much. Uh, kind of thinking what is gonna happen again. Is there a switch here now that we need to push? No, 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 not yet. That'll be later. It's over there. Okay, yeah, I found it. No props, no props. So first we do it over here. And then we go back slightly. And we do it over there. And that opens the door behind here. Okay. Now this is a lovely little outdoor area. Uh, it's very green. Very eco-friendly. What's gonna happen next? And this is gonna be uh, difficult. We get rocket launcher. That's good. It's very much good. If we push this switch... Uh, Kakos will spawn, Arachnotrons will spawn inside a couple of art files. Uh, so I'm gonna try to rush back in as quickly as possible. And see if I can get the infight to occur. See, there are three arch vials just running amok. And Mr. Sipes has no real interest. Okay, that's one down. Quickly grab some more health over here. Save the game. Yep, that's one more, we just need to kill the last arch vial quickly, before he goes on a spawning spree. Alright, now we're gonna finish this fight. Ow. You really have it in for me. Uh, is Mr. Cyberdemon still here? No, he's already dead. Oh no! Hammer, what did you do? Why did you let them kill me? Every time I see a Cyberdemon, I have to do the voice. The Cyberdemon voice. And it's a high-pitched, squeal, scream-like thing. Okay, this went... This went well. This actually went well. I had one record before this and I chose to uh, camp outside and the Archvals just 
resurrected everything. Just everything. It was very, very irritating. But now we have some more. Free space to maneuver. And we can get rid of these arachnatrons that are trying to pester us. Oh, and they are here as well. Caco demons and Mancubi. Oh. Should be uh, looking out for my health here. It's I'm quite low. We can save our uh, main save directory. I call it Doopy again. And then kill the fat guy. And three more enemies left. Possibly more arachnatrons, like there, use the pillar for a bit of cover, shoot some rockets, move out of the way. He is dead. Uh, then there's an arachnatron there, that we can also kill. Oh, and another caco demon. Grab a stim pack quickly. And then we got all the kills, 163. Last time I finished with like 243 kills because these archfiles really, really made like life difficult. So that uh, that was map one. Uh, there's a switch around here that I can still push. Grab some health just because we can, so we don't feel quite as bad. And we can go up here. And we can move into the spot we finished by far. First map. And that already gives you an idea what we're up against in the continuation of this. What? This is one of the easier ones. Yeah, let that sink in for a bit. Uh, it's not a bad level. But they definitely get better, both in terms of... Uh, just general appearance, Sunder is also known because the levels later on, they look gorgeous. They absolutely look amazing. This one is, yeah, it's quite rough still, quite basic. Um, I like the idea that the main level, it's just one fight that breaks out in the middle. And you kind of have to use infighting to move around a bit. Without having access to the stronger guns, the plasma rifle or the BFG, they are absent. Most difficult part, uh, definitely the beginning where you have to shoot an arch vial with just a shotgun. With other enemies harassing you as well. And the uh, part where three arch vials teleport in. While you are outside, that is very, very cruel. Because uh, uh, pr my previous run, I chose to stay outdoors, and that just meant that I couldn't get in anymore because the entrance back inside was cramped by I don't know how many enemies, and there were a couple of arch files in the back that kept resurrecting it. And uh, the only thing I could rely on was some good old RNG where the arch file was the enemy up front so I could shoot him. But this definitely worked out a lot better. So it's a cruel map, but there are some tricks you can utilize in order to get there. Also the part uh, recently, recently, uh, relatively at the beginning where there's just a very large group of imps. It amazes me that I struggled with that as much as I did. Because it's just imps and the first time that I played it, or the last time that I played it, the run before this one, they didn't really give me a lot of trouble. So I was surprised that they did now. So this was Python, the next map is The Burrow. We are gonna play that next time. This one is also not quite as large, but still larger than the previous one also. Even more cruel, if memory serves. So, I love this WAD, I love playing difficult Doom WADs, uh, I hope you enjoy me 
Uh, I hope you enjoy watching me play them. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.